Besides Brock Bowers, the tight end class this year looks bleak. There are a couple names, but the consensus tight end two right now is Jatavion Sanders. Does he deserve to be there? Find out in this two-minute drill. Sanders came into Texas playing both sides of the ball, but transitioned into a full-time tight end during his sophomore year. Listed at 6'4 and 243 pounds, the Sanders body type of tight end is becoming more popular by the year in the NFL. Like most players his size, Sanders is more of a move tight end than a traditional inline guy. Sanders' main role in the NFL will be as a pass catcher. He has an impressive athletic ability which shows up frequently on tape. He's able to high point the ball with a high degree of effectiveness and is a very smooth route runner. His greatest asset in the passing game is his speed. Sanders has very good straight line speed for a tight end. When he's given the ball in space, he can surprise defenders who take aggressive angles or are not prepared by blowing right past them. These attributes make him great as a screening option. He has good contact balance and field vision, which also aids him as an after-the-catch runner. As a blocker, Sanders wasn't the most willing or active. He did what was asked of him, but he never went that extra mile that you like to see from tight ends. As an inline run blocker, Sanders got pushed around and could not sustain a block for long. There are many examples of edges just tossing him aside to get to the running back. Sanders was actually decent in pass protection, but again, there wasn't a lot of urgency behind the blocks. Sanders' role in the NFL will likely involve him blocking a lot on the outside, and here he is a bit of a mixed bag. He's able to hold blocks fine on the perimeter, but struggles to make initial contact and is too easily juked. For a pro comp, Sanders reminds me of Jared Cook. Both were uber-athletic tight ends who struggled as inline blockers. Cook enjoyed a successful NFL career without being a good blocker, and Sanders can see similar success. For a draft range, Sanders' value as a receiving threat will be very attractive to many teams. However, his blocking troubles will restrict his value. With the ability to line up anywhere from inline to out wide, Sanders is a versatile piece with coveted athleticism and receiving talent. In a weak tight end class, Sanders will go higher than you probably should. Look for him to be selected early day two. And that's the two minute drill.